In this video, we will see how to install Java JDK 24 on a Mac machine. And this 24 version got released recently on the 18th of March. So this is the latest version as of now. And also in this video, we will not use Homebrew to install Java JDK. Instead, we will install the Oracle JDK which is hosted on the Oracle's official website. But still, if you prefer to use Homebrew to install Java, then you will find another separate video on the channel itself and the link will be in the description below. So now to install Java 24, we need to search for Oracle Java downloads on any browser like I have shown here. And in the search results, we need to look for this Java downloads Oracle, which should have this link oracle.com java technologies downloads so now let's open this link so if we scroll down a little bit then we will find all the java versions which are available to install like 24 23 21 and if i scroll down little more then we even have 17 11 and 8 also so now i will again go up and here we will select this jdk 24 and now from here we will select the corresponding operating system so for our case it is macOS so I'll click on this and now here we have both the options to download the compressed archive and the DMG installer and for this particular video we will go with the DMG option. Now whether we need to go with the ARM64 or the x64 this will totally depend on the type of the chip which is used in our Mac system. So if the chip type in our Mac is Apple silicon type then we would go with the first option this ARM64. And on the other hand, if the chip type is Intel, then we would go with the x64 option. So now let's see how to check this chip type. So for that, we will click on this Apple icon, which is present on the top left corner. Then click on this about this Mac. And now you will see the processor information or the chip information. So for my case, it is Intel Core, which means it is an Intel based system. So I'll go with the x64 option. But in this chip information, if you have something like Apple M1, M2 or M3, then it would mean that the chip is based on the Apple Silicon. So in that case, you would go with the ARM64 option. So now I will close this pop-up window. So now to install this DMG file, I will click on this link. So it will start the downloading. Now once this is downloaded, we will go to the location where it is downloaded. So this is the downloaded file and we will double click on this DMG file to start the installation. Now this type of pop-up box will come up and here we will double click on this pkg file. And now this in installation wizard will come up and I will click on this continue. Now again continue and now in order to proceed make sure to have this much of space in your system. So I'll click on install. Now it is asking for the password of my current Mac system. So I'll provide that and click on install software. Now the installation is successful and I will close this wizard and now it is asking me whether we want to keep that DMG file in the system or we want to move that to bin. So I'll say move to bin because we no longer require that file now and I'll close this as well. Now we will verify the installation through our terminal. So for that first of all we will open the terminal. So command and space and type terminal. Now let's maximize this. And here we will type the command which is java space hyphen hyphen version and hit enter. So in the output if we get java24 like this then it means the installation is successful. But in case you do not get this output or you face any issue then let me know through comments or if the installation was successful for you then do hit the like button. Now we will set the value of java underscore home variable. So first we will check the current value of that. So for that on terminal we will type echo then space dollar java underscore home and hit enter. So it is empty for now. So it is better to set this variable otherwise the java might not work properly in some cases. So the value of this variable will be the path of the JDK where it is installed. So first we will get that path and then we will assign that path as the value of this variable here. So let's go to that location first where the JDK is installed. So for that I'll type cd then forward slash library then forward slash then java and forward slash java virtual machines. So I'll type java virtual. Now I'll press tab key on the keyboard so that it would be autocomplete and now I will hit enter. 
now i will do ls here so you will see this jdk 24.jdk folder so we will go inside this folder as well so i'll say cd then jdk 24 and i'll press again tab to auto complete this and hit enter and now if i do ls again then we will go inside this contents folder as well so i'll go to the contents folder and now we will do ls again so here you will see this home folder so in this home folder only all the binary and the library files are present which are required for proper functioning of java so now we will go inside this folder as well so i'll say cd then home and now here we will run one command which is pwd so this is the path which we need to set as the value of this java underscore home variable so first we will copy this path from here and now we will set this value permanently in the jdshrc or the bash underscore rc file so if your mac os version is catalina or higher than that then there will be the jdshrc file or in case you are using the lower version than catalina then there will be the bash underscore rc file so now we will go to the home directory of my current user so for that we will type cd and hit enter so we are in the home directory now so both the home folders are different so this home folder the earlier one was for java and this home folder where we currently are in that is for the current user so do not get confused here and now in this home directory we will type ls space hyphen a so now we will see all the files including the hidden files and among these we will see the jdshrc or the bash underscore rc file so for me it is the jdshrc not the bash underscore rc so now we will open this file using the vi editor so for that we will type vi then the name of this file so i'll copy this from here and paste it here and now before hitting the enter let's copy this path again and now we will hit enter and now to edit this file first we will move to the insert mode and for that we will press the i key on the keyboard so here also we can see that we are in the insert mode and now here we will type java underscore home then equals to and then we will paste that copied path and now once we are done with this then we will come out from this insert mode so i'll press the escape key on the keyboard and now i will type colon then wq so whatever we are typing we can see here in the bottom left corner and now i will press the return key on the keyboard and now finally we will source this file so for that we will type source then the name of the file which was this dot jshrc and now hit enter so now we will check the value of the java underscore home variable so again we will type echo then space dollar java underscore home and hit enter so this time we have got the value of the variable which we had set in the file so do cross check this value because these two values should be same now if we open any new terminal then this value should be set automatically so let's verify that also so i'll click on this shell then new tab and here also we will check that value so we will again type echo then space dollar java underscore home and hit enter so we have got the value here as well so it means the path is also set now so now if you found this video useful then do hit the like button and subscribe the channel for more such videos and for free tutorials on multiple technologies you can refer the video description